Hi friends and fellow Disney fans. I'm Jamie. And I'm Brad. And I'm a travel agent specializing in Disney vacation. So I'm here to help you get the most out of your next Disney vacation. So today we are talking about Port, Port Orleans, Orleans French, French Quarter. Quarter. Woo! Woo! got back from our trip to Port Orleans French Quarter. Port Orleans French Quarter is one of the smallest resorts on property. It features only 1,008 rooms. Yeah. So quite small, quite intimate, which is really nice. And when you're walking around, it doesn't feel like a vast resort. Some of the moderates like Caribbean, um, even Coronado, they're, and, and Riverside. And Riverside, it's sister resort. They're huge. Very, right? very large. Yeah, where French Quarter, you can walk across the resort pretty quickly. Like, oh, in, in less than three minutes. Like, it's a small little resort. I don't know if it's three minutes. I, I don't think? know. I mean, it's hard to say, but it's... it's it feels vastly smaller than any resort I've ever stayed at. Um, the theming is brilliant. It is Mardi Gras, French Quarter, of course, all throughout the resort on top of the fact that it feels, especially when you're at like the uh, check-in desk and the little uh, restaurants and shops, everything feels like you're just going down Bourbon Street. As you make your way out towards where the pool and kind of all the amenities are outside, uh, you're gonna have kind of cartoon-like animals like gators uh playing like jazz, jazz uh, instruments all over the place even the pool as we're going to talk about is themed after mardi gras and the french quarter really really neat mm -hmm. first let's talk about the rooms at port orleans french quarter uh port orleans french quarter all of the rooms only sleep up to four people i did Three. Four people. Four people. <laughs> Four people. <laughs> Four people plus an infant, um, three and under. So you could squeeze five in if you had an infant. But they are very strict. It is not one of those resorts that sleep five unless it's one of them is an infant. Um, the rooms and the resort, it has all been renovated, which is really nice. So they all have that laminate floor. They have the uh, high bed so you can put your luggage storage underneath lovely um i really like how clean they are personally yeah very very clean and yeah a lot of thought has been put into how can we make a small space really really convenient for a family of four mm -hmm. and that's what's actually nice with the small size of resort it is um and with the rooms being the way they are for four people it's perfect for small families it is. The rooms are 314 square feet and they feature the basic things that all of the other Disney resorts have. They have the mini fridge, they have uh, the, the coffee maker, safe, all that kind of stuff that is generally in the other rooms at Disney resorts. There's five different room categories at Port Orleans French Quarter. There's the standard view, garden view, river view, pool view, and king bed. So king beds are obviously everywhere throughout the resort. So if you want a king bed room, you could be booking with any kind of view. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to make sure to add a request for a certain um, building or closest to the lobby. Um, pool view, pretty standard. It's pool. pool. <laughs> <laughs> garden view is going to be of the gardens and river view is going to be of the river that's right there. And so it's pretty easy. Like I don't feel like any of the views are bad because because of the size of the resort i yeah. would say like preferentially the river is beautiful yes. and so if you can get it and the cost is um just a little bit more or the same price i would go with the river view but the river view is going to be the furthest away from the main building that is the bummer now again, it's, it's really not, not that big of a resort so i don't think resort. it's that big of a deal for the beauty of waking up and looking out on the river that's mm -hmm. what i would go with but again yeah. it's your personal preference so let's talk about the pool. What I love about this pool is the size of it. Again, for a smaller resort, it has got a massive pool with a really, really large slide. You go up down like a serpent tongue mm -hmm. and it's all, again, themed after Mardi Gras. You got these gator characters. Your kids are going to love it. And again, the thing I loved about it was the general size. Even when there's quite a few people at the pool, uh, you don't feel very crowded. And the nice thing about it too is that it has a brand new um, splash area. Like it was built maybe a couple years ago. Yeah. This huge kind of splash area that's very Mardi Gras fun themed. And if you have kind of toddlers, it's great. Even older kids, yeah. they're gonna love running Our 
Cowboys out there, there's, you know, it's so much fun. Yeah. They're gonna absolutely love it. And if you're gonna spend a pool day, this is definitely the moderate resort for you. I would say, in fact, that a lot of guests from Riverside will go over to French Quarter Pool just to use it yep. because it's that good. And out of all the moderate resorts, I would say that and Caribbean have the by far the pools. best pools yeah. on property. Yeah. Right by the pool, you've got the playground. Uh, not much to say here other than it's a great playground that your kids mm -hmm. are gonna love. So I hope so far this video is helping you as you try to decide whether or not this resort would be the right fit for your family. And if you think it would, you should contact this girl. She is a travel agent who specializes in Disney vacation. And when you book with her, her services are completely free. You can contact her by email jamie at clickthemouse.ca or by website clickthemouse.ca slash jamie. Let's talk about recreation available at Port Orleans French Quarter. And let me say, this is something that I think separates it from some of the other moderate Absolutely, resorts. Absolutely, yes. Port Orleans French Quarter has horse-drawn carriage rides. They do have an additional cost. You do have to book them before, but awesome. Well, so I mean, romantic come on. and fun for yeah, families. Yeah, young, young fella's gonna propose to his uh, girlfriend, fiance. What a great thing to do. Get a horse-drawn carriage ride. Oh, and then wanna make it even more romantic? Go to a fishing hole, because they have fishing holes there. <laughs> Don't do that, boys. <laughs> Don't do that. But they do have fishing holes Unless where you can actually. That. Yeah, but they probably aren't. <laughs> but they do also have fishing holes. Uh, that's kind of a fun thing to do there. So let's talk about transportation. This is another thing that I think separates this resort. Absolutely. So if you go to any of the moderate resorts on property, they are larger, so they are going to have multiple bus stops yeah. around the resort. Um, so sometimes that can be a negative because if you are getting picked up on the last bus stop, maybe it's fuller bus, um, you know, or you have to wait just a little bit longer to go to your hotel room at the end of the night. We've never had a super big issue with the multiple no. bus stops. Um, unless it it's can like be a very long. busy time. Busy times, space. yep. But the thing about French Quarter is that it only has one dedicated yep. bus stop. So it is right outside of the lobby. You're not going to be making multiple bus stops. And then your walk to your room is not going to be that long. That's right. So that's a huge positive. Big time. Big time. The other wonderful mode of transportation is you can take a boat on the river right to Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Let's talk about dining at Port Orleans French Best Quarter. Best part of Disney World. Ooh, Eating. agreed. <laughs> so unfortunately, French Quarter does not have a table service sit-down restaurant. But I wouldn't be so worried about that because you are right next to Riverside, which does have, you know, a table service option there. And even better, you are only a boat ride away from Disney Springs, which that has some of the best dining in oh, all of Disney. Oh, the whole property. But there is something very unique to French Quarter. Ooh, thing you can only get at French Quarter. You can't get it anywhere else on property. Mickey shaped beignets. Ooh, I think they're beignets. Beignets. <laughs> We do this all the time. We can't say it right. We're so sorry. Beignets. And that brings us to the first uh, place to eat yeah. at Port Orleans French Quarter. And it is the, the Scat Cat. The, the Scat, Scat Cat, Cat, Cat Club. Cat. Cafe club, right? Yeah. So in the evening, it is a uh, kind of lounge area. Um, they often you can have people get, playing piano and stuff like that. You can get adult beverages. Apparently, there's a hurricane drink that's an adult beverage, and apparently, it's really good. We did not try it when we were there, though. And there is also um, the an evening jazz m musician playing. Ooh. Yeah, a one man band. Wow. So that's kind of fun like for the Bert evening. Like Bert from uh, Mary Poppins. I yeah jazz version <laughs> <laughs> the main food court is called the sasagula uh Float Float works, works and food, food factory. factory that's right it's very it's wordy it is yeah but the food's good it's again theme mardi gras it's not a lot to tell about except no it's, they it's... renovated it there used to be kind of scary heads and some people really liked it and some people did not because it kind of frightened the kids children, yeah. so they renovated it and removed all the scary like mardi gras heads i guess or like masks so it's just a little bit more kid friendly it's literally right next to that club where you can get your uh beignets and uh, yeah so it's a great location it's mm -hmm. really convenient at the food court too i highly recommend the shrimp po boy so good and it is kind of like a famous dish there so check it you, out you need to check it out by the pool you have the marty grogs which is a poolside bar yeah nothing really to write home about but it's a 
Bullside Bar. Nice to have a bar there. So let's talk about shopping. There's one place in the property, the Jackson Square's Gifts and Desires. It's a nice uh, shop. Yeah, and the cast members are so nice. That's there. actually the one thing I would say separates it yeah. for me was uh, how wonderful the cast members were. Yeah. Really kind to our kids. They kind of gave them some different things to make them happy as we were doing some shopping. Yeah. It was really cool. So let's tell you some tips about staying here at Port Orleans French Quarter. So tip number one would be that sometimes Port Orleans French Quarter can be excluded from discounts. I have noticed though, it has been popping up in a few different discounts later. But um, if you have a priority to get a discount, what I would highly recommend doing is booking your first choice of hotel. So Port Orleans French Quarter. Um, and then hopefully if you're working with a travel agent that specializes in Disney vacations, like me, I will be monitoring for promos. And the day a promo drops, I will um, make sure to be giving you other options. So, you know, you can weigh the options to see, okay, I saved $500 if I switch resorts, and then we can switch and make sure that you are getting the best deal possible. Totally. Tip number two. two. Uh, as I said before, Port Orleans French Quarter does only sleep for people. But if you have a family of five like ours, which, limits us to a lot of resorts, um, you can actually get guaranteed connecting rooms if you only have two adults. So if you are interested in doing French Quarter and you have more than, uh, you know, two kids that outnumber you, then you can definitely contact me. I'll work with you to get those guaranteed connecting rooms on the same reservation. They'll, you'll have the door within them. So Very good. family, it'll just be pretty much one large room then. Yeah. <laughs> Tip number three, three is you can walk over to Riverside to enjoy all the amenities there. So you can enjoy the Surrey bike, um, even the pool there, because those are considered sister resorts. Yeah. So And of course the dining. And the dining. Yeah. So if you want to go over to Riverside, experience that one of the days. It's kind of like one of those hotels where you're getting the bonus of two yeah. almost. You know, you get the amenities of both those. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, at Riverside and French Quarter, the amenities at that resort really stand out. They're beautiful. You know, they, the, where else are you gonna find, like unless you go to Boardwalk or something, the Surrey bikes, the um, the, the carriage hole. rides, fishing holes. Like, you know, there's so much that Riverside has to offer. And plus, even, you know, by the pool, you're getting the poolside games with the cast members. Like, there's just so much going on at this resort. It's really great for families. Tip number four. four. Because you cannot book a certain room or location, I highly recommend requesting a room right next to the lobby. Mm -hmm. So that way you're just not walking as long. Absolutely. But obviously if you are in one of those Riverview rooms, you probably are going to be in the ones back a little further. Although, like we said before, um, it's not a big resort. No. So you could be placed anywhere and it shouldn't be an issue. No. But if you have mobility issues or um, even little kids, I highly recommend adding that request on. Absolutely. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it helps as you're planning out your next Disney World vacation. If you enjoyed this video, take a moment, subscribe, give us a like, and leave a comment about what you think of this resort. And if you are interested in a Disney vacation, make sure to contact me. My name is Jamie and I'm a travel agent specializing in Disney vacations. So I can help you uh, book the resort, uh, monitor for promotions, and just help you plan out everything from fast passes to dining and help you really get the most out of your next Disney vacation. So you can contact me via email, jamie at clickthemouse.ca or on the website, which is www.clickthemouse.ca slash. slash jamie, J-A-M-I-E. Thank you so much for watching us, guys. Have a magical day. Bye. Bye.